Precision typing on smartphone keyboards generally isn't the most pleasant thing in the world, but Windows 10 Mobile has taken some extra steps to make the experience more palatable. I'm Oliver from WinBeta, and in this video I'm going to examine the cursor controller, which houses virtual arrow keys found on all the Windows 10 Mobile keyboard variations. Actuating these keys is done by holding onto the dot found toward the left side of the keyboard. Hold that little dot and four directional arrows will pop up that behave much like the arrow keys found on an actual keyboard. Still holding your touch, drag your finger onto the direction you want to move the text caret. You will be rewarded with a satisfying tactile clicking sound and a step closer toward your destiny. Continue holding that direction and the speed of each step slowly increases. Now as I mentioned two sentences ago, the arrows found in the cursor controller behave like actual arrow keys, and thus there are some behavioral implications to this. For example, if you're typing a web address in the browser and suggestions pop up, navigating up and down with the virtual arrow scrolls through that suggestion list much like you would when typing a web address in the conventional PC browser. You can also use the up and down arrow keys to navigate away from text fields in the forms found in apps like the People app, but this doesn't really achieve anything because it kills the keyboard. If, for whatever reason, you'd prefer having the cursor controller on the right side of the keyboard, you can go into the Keyboard Settings app and change to the left-handed orientation. In practice, I find the arrow navigation a tad too slow for real use, preferring instead just to drag the caret to my desired destination. If you have fat fingers and find your aim constantly off, using the virtual arrow keys in conjunction with the caret navigation can make typing on the virtual keyboard just a bit more pleasant. See you guys next time.